Good morning, everybody. How are you? This is Eileen, and you are watching J. Nicole Designs. Today, you can see I am not in my normal spot. I am at my sister's house in Washington. And say good morning, Renee. Good morning. <laughs> she is hanging out this morning with me, and I just wanted to give you just a little quick project because my, um, my Wednesday at 10 o'clock, I can't just not do it. So um, today, I'm gonna show you a little project that is um, one of those, I have a kitty, she eats, um, good morning, she has a uh, kitty that, uh, I have a kitty that eats um, tuna fish every morning and night, and um, I know we spoil her terribly, but um, I have all these little cans with um, having tuna every night, and we've kind of spoiled her in that way, but um, when we got her, she was very tiny, and uh, good morning, Renee. <laughs> um, we, we, uh, couldn't feed her very much. It was it was kind of scary. We got um, kitty food, kitten food, and it was too big. Her mouth was so tiny. I'll, I'll, in the comments, I'll leave a picture of how small she was when we got her. And so uh, my husband Jeffrey was like, hey, why don't we just feed her some tuna? We got some tuna in the can and uh, she totally gobbledy gooped it up. And then, so I fed her that for a little bit until she was able to um, eat regular food. So the tradition has been staying on. She's uh, 11 months old and so I go through tuna and I don't feed her a ton now because she does eat dry food, but I go through a can or two in a week. So I have a ton of these little cans. And so I just was like, you know what? Instead of recycling them, which is great, I'm gonna revamp it. So you know me, I like to take something and just revamp it to death. So. All right, so we're just gonna take a can, and I, because I'm at my sister's house, I didn't wanna bring everything that I had, and I just didn't wanna make a big mess because I'm at her kitchen table. <laughs> so I just kind of did the steps, and it's gonna be a little bit of a quicker process today. So um, I just took the can, and I always put them in my dishwasher because, um, you know, the oil and things like that, if I'm gonna be Mod Podging or I'm gonna do chalk paint or something like that, I wanna make sure that all of that is off. So if you have a can that is smaller like this that doesn't have oil or if it's tuna packed in water, um, I would just recommend just soap and water. That's probably the quickest way to do it. But I do put it through the um, dishwasher and I just take, um, and I have, I didn't bring it with me, but I have the Pampered Chef, um, can opener that just opens up the rim and it doesn't leave that sharp edge but always do be careful if you're going to be doing a project like this just be careful of, of um, you know little pieces of metal going off on the side um, I have every once in a while gotten a little splinter of metal so just be careful but um, I have the top and the bottom of uh, this can so with that being said by the magic of I already did it um, I took and this is Waverly and it is ballet slipper. So go ahead and take a screenshot of that and then flip it backwards or whatever that you can read it because I can't flip my camera. You know that, the crafter's nightmare. So I just took this and I did the bottom and I did not do the inside. Um, you're welcome to, but um, just kind of for, for my project that I want to do today, um, we're going to do it two different ways. And so um, I did not do the inside. So you're welcome to do that. So like I said, I did the ballet slippers, I did two coats, and then um, I did two of them because we're gonna do two projects today. And then I let it dry completely. Um, use your hair dryer if you want the McDonald's quick way. Um, but there it is, that's, that's our base right now. And so what I'm gonna do, I love this idea. You know me, I like montage. So we're gonna use today, I think it's look matte. We're gonna do matte today. And um, Mod Podge is perfect for if you wanna do paint to fabric, paint to, today we're gonna use napkin. Um, it's just a really good sealer. If you wanted to um, use this as a dishwasher kind of um, project, I, there is Mod Podge that's dishwasher. It's a blue label and go ahead and use it then. So here we go. Today I'm going to use a, uh, just this is Pioneer Woman. I got this at Walmart. And um, I had another brand that had um, like plaid and things like that and then flowers. But the cool thing, I love these about this, she puts her recipes on her napkins. So this one here is for uh, Top Secret Chocolate Cake. So yes, 
so you can use um, the napkin rip off and it even has the instructions on it so you know pioneer woman thank you so much for the great recipe i will try it i'm sure at some point okay so i'm just going to cut this in half here i'm going to use um for our two projects i'm going to use each one of these little squares here and how these napkins most of them are two ply some of them are three let me get my glasses so i can see here um and they have a little a little bit of a, a room around it that um, if you can get to it that's great if not i just kind of tear off a little corner and then roll it back and see how there is two layers of this and you're welcome to use the two layers um, just be a little bit more generous with your mod podge but go ahead and pull it apart. Okay, and tell me where you're watching from and what's your weather like today? We are gonna hit a heat wave of, what do we say, like 80 something-ish? And so um, we're, we're gonna be inside and thankfully my sister has AC, so we're gonna try and stay as cool as we can. Okay, so. Here is this, this is just a single ply, and I'm, and this one here, um, uh, the, the, the um, Pioneer Woman, these are pretty thick, uh, so it's almost like rice paper, and you know what, you're welcome to use rice paper, um, whatever you'd like. So I'm just going to put it in the middle of it, I just want to kind of give it an idea of what, um, and just make sure that when I start Mod Podging, I actually have in my little stash here a little pen that I'm just going to make a little tiny marks on each, each of that because I just want to make sure that um, when I put the Mod Podge down that I, I don't um, have a, a short side. So I just, this is my little fan brush. I got it at Walmart. I'm just going to dip a little bit in there roll around the outside and you can be as generous as you would like but just go ahead and take where you put your chalk paint I'm gonna put it all over the can and I usually hold it upside down and then that last little spot right by my finger is what I I do the last little spot Okay, we just want to be super, we don't want it to be too glumpy. You see that? It's, you can definitely tell that the Mod Podge is on there. And then I'm going to set it right down where those marks are. Perfect. And then I'm going to put that off to the side. So then I'm just going to push it down. I want to uh, make sure that, that it's, it has uh, some, you know, being adhered to. And so how I do this there's four ways you can you can go the four corners but i'm actually going to take a little bit of a, a crease there and then i'm going to do each side that way so that there's a little bit of a crease and be intentional about that so that when you pull it up see how it folds like that or you could just cut the circle and things like that and then um, and then put one strip around that but I this is me this is how I'm gonna do it and I'm just gonna gather it up a little bit each time so almost it looks like you're taking a piece of material and gathering it up okay so now that I have it like that there's these little pieces that are out and I'm just gonna take my little fan brush just right about where it's at and then fold it over with the Mod Podge there. Put that, just tuck it right in there. You don't need a ton of Mod Podge to, to do this. So I'm just gonna make sure that the little spots there that are folded have a little bit in the crease. If I can do this, yeah. There we go. So, Last week was Father's Day. Let me know how your Father's Day went. Where did you guys end up doing? 
we ended up going on our boat for the, the very first time of the season on the Friday before and then went out to dinner, which was so nice. I didn't even cook on Father's Day. <laughs> it was good. Okay, you could eat, do this. Just tuck it down underneath for this project. Or you could Mod Podge it down. Or you could take a sanding block and just sand it and um, just rough off the edges there. And I did not, it looks like I did not bring my sanding block, which is fine. Um, I can just take my little, uh, my little scissors here and I'm just going to trim off enough just to fold over. There we go. And I could see this as, well, today we are going to make a pin cushion, but I can totally see this as a baby room where you can put all the little cute bows and um, I even brought along a, um, where did it go? I even brought along a little baby pin. You can put it in the baby. Yeah, I, there's tons of, of ways to use this. I love this little idea. So I even took um, this and a couple other cans and I made um, it black and white with flowers on it. And um, I had, um, I made some for my daughter's desk. So, it works out really well. Good morning, Chris. I'm live, yep. How are you doing? Good. It's so fun to have family around. I mean, actually family around, that's fun. Last week we had like five, five of cousins and mom, and, and it was so fun. And, and like I said, the more the merrier. Okay. So now that I did that, I'm just, I just put a little bit of Mod Podge and I just pushed it down so that it's just right in the corner. So, so garbage, oh, remember I always like to clean up my spots. Okay, the next thing I took, so I don't know about you, once in a while my husband gets these squishy stuff in all these packages of electronics and things like that. So I just took one of these. You can do whatever you want. You could use batting. You could do anything that, that you would like to. But this has been sitting in my garage forever. And I was like, you know what? It has to be used. So this is what it came. It came in one of those big, huge sheets. And I just chopped off a little spot. And then what I did is I took the little round. And then I just put a little marking on it here and then cut it out. So it looks like this. That's all you need. So I'm sure you could do quite a bit with this. I, you know, this would be super fun for Christmas presents and being able to uh, do that. Um, maybe a birthday present. Maybe you have, you know, a, a, an encouragement of a sewer or something, that, you know, something like that. I'm just kind of making, um, making things uh, for, you know, make it for whatever you need to do. So. For this project, I'm just gonna do a little piece. I'm just gonna cut off a little piece of the, the foam here, and I'm gonna put it in the middle of it. You could do whatever you'd like. Um, the next piece, we're gonna actually make a little spot to, to hold trinkets, but you can just go ahead and put a couple of those little, little pieces. And I have my glue gun here. I'm gonna take that, and I'm just gonna glue it down right in the middle, just like that. Isn't that awesome? I love this. This is this is one of those projects where pretty much except for the 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 um, the can or the uh, napkin is is new. Everything else is kind of like you know a used product, which I love. And so then the next thing I'm gonna do after I'm just gonna let that kind of sit in there, um, firm up. Um, I took a coordinating or a you know fabric that is contrasting. Um, I would have loved to done something like a plaid or something like that, but that is not what I had in my stash. This is more of just, you know, polka dots, but I kind of, for me, I'm not one of those where I have to be totally matchy matchy. So it's kind of one of those. I was like, okay, we'll see how this goes. So I just cut it so that it was, you know, about three fingers around each of the edges. And so, um, I don't want this part. This part is going to be the bottom. So I don't want that to be, you know, right next to the fabric. So I just am going to put it in the middle. And then for this, I, this was the best way that I thought I was going to do this. 
And my glue gun uh, cord is a little bit short, but I'm going to do um, just a little bit of glue on each of the corners, just like that. I'll, I'll let you see it so it's just on the corners there. And then I will gather from the, the corners again. So that almost looks like a little, little present here. There we go. Okay, so we've got that. So that's, which, that doesn't look right. I hope. I, then I'm just gonna take the corners here, and I'm not gonna squish it too much, because I want the integrity of the cushion so that I can put the push pins in it. I'm just gonna lightly fold it, and then I'm gonna put a little bead of, of glue here. So just like that, there's that little tiny thing, and I'm just gonna fold it over so it does that. Okay, and we're gonna do that to each of the edges here. And then that makes it so you can just go in for the can. There we go. I'll put my thing on. I don't want to. This is one of those where if if it burn or it gets it, it it's gonna burn. So let's make sure that we. There we go. And I love these. I got these at the dollar store. They are a finger saver. Okay, so it doesn't have to look great and pretty. I'm not going for, you know, a production line kind of thing, but that's basically how you do it. You just kind of make sure that it has a little bit of texturing and folding. And then all I did was just start from one side, get my thing off here, and just I'm just gonna kind of play with it and see. I want it to be a little bit puffy because I want to be able to have the, the, uh, the pins be able to sit. There we go, awesome. Okay, so, yep, that's what I want. So then that's where I'm gonna go generous with the glue here. Just like that, make sure that all the little edges are tucked in. And there we go. Okay, so we've got that going. Now, you can decorate this any way you like. It is, it, the sky's the limit on this. I brought, this is so cool, I love this. This is my, um, my bin of all the extra little things of uh, ribbon and whatnot. So, I mean, this is like something I used a long time ago. I mean, you could totally decide to do whatever you like. But I have this, ribbon thingy and I think this would be the coolest look at it's just a little fluffy and I'm gonna just glue it around the edge I think this is awesome so let me move and make sure that the um, there we go. make sure that it's a little bit fluffy out there that you have some room isn't this so cool I love it okay now I'm gonna start with just a little bead here around the edge and we're just going to push this on and give it a little bit of oomph here. And like I said, you could do whatever you want on this. I could see even a, a cute little um, rope or, or um, you know, any type of fabric you could. You could even take the fabric from the, the cushion and put it on there. And I'm just making sure that the ribbon doesn't fall in between. And I don't know about you guys, I'm not a big sewer, so I'm going to use this in other ways. I have little pins that I use for when I do my craft projects. And I'm going to use it in that way because I'm not a big sewer. I can mend, but I cannot sew clothing. <laughs> Okay, so that's how I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna put it to the edge. We will cut off that 
And then I'm gonna put a bow, and this is how I make my bows. Usually if I do bows, I wanna make sure that I don't have a lot of extra. So how I do that is I usually have a thumb, about a thumb, and then I'm just gonna make a loop, just like that. So I kind of push my thumbs together, and then bring this tail up over the top, and then see my little finger there? I just push the end right through. And that's where, yeah, <laughs> that is where you can make a bow without having, you know, sometimes you cut it off the spool and then you're like, oh, and then you trim one side, trim one side. So it is super easy. So I just call it the thumb method, I don't know. It just two thumbs round and then put your finger, um, put the end of the right through. Let me know if you have any other better and fun ideas about that because I I'm one of those I don't like to use up my my materials if I don't have to so there we go I'm just gonna trim off the edge and there we have a little bow okay so I want to make sure I'm gonna actually this is a really good spot because this is where it comes together and I'm just gonna put it right there so let's go ahead and put a little bit of glue on there And there we go, there you have it. How, what, that took me what, 10 minutes or something like that? So, if you have one of those things where you, you're on the assembly line, you could make these just, oh, I would say 10, 15 minutes if you want. So, I did, I do have pins here, and they go into the foam really easily. So, that is it, that is how you make one of those. So. I know I'm not gonna be on very long today, but I just had to come and say hello. The other thing too, is I have two new things that I'm gonna be doing. So if you would like to, I have um, two different things that I'm adding to my, um, my uh, lives and, and uh, business. And number one is I have a link tree that I'm gonna be starting. So take a look at that and that will have all the links to the things that I, like my Etsy store, my YouTube and all that fun stuff. So um, I'll be pinning that now um, when we start Christmas in July. The other thing is I have, it's called Telegram. And uh, some of you probably know it, but I, it's just new to me. So um, I have a Telegram account. So if you would direct message me, or you know, just message me privately and say Telegram, I will put you on the list to be able to do that. So then you can get updates and things like that. If I say, hey, I'm going live in 10 minutes, then um, you're welcome to join me and things like that. So if you wanna be in the know of what Jane Nichols Designs is doing, go ahead and just message me about that. So, okay, that is it. Because my sister and I are gonna go find Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby! Woo! <laughs> so, um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I would love it if you would put one of these together and put it on here with a picture and let me know how it is. Um, I also, I, I'm not going to do it today, but I also have a little hand top that I'm going to put a little finial on and make it as a little trinket box and things like that. So you're welcome to be as creative and then show me what you've done. So thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you would like to um, follow me, Jane Nicole Designs, I am on Facebook, YouTube, and I have my Etsy shop. Just put Jane Nicole Designs. Thank you so much for watching and you have a great, great day.